Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you the Dark Rip Daring build. The Cremator build. Very powerful build. Maybe even the most powerful. Who knows, it's early to tell for sure, but it destroys, destroys bosses, destroys regular enemies, evaporates scourge beasts, almost everything. It is endgame build. I put everything into it, so it's definitely endgame build. So first, legendary perks. I have sizzling style equipped. Yes, with the cremator. It is highly recommended to have high fire resistance to avoid self inflicted damage from this amazing weapon that can happen very easily. I noticed seizing styles helps a lot, so I decided to run with it. I have as well boosted my special by 20 points total, agility, luck, intelligence, endurance. Could you go away with a little bit less? Probably, but if you want maximum out of this weapon, you need it all. Then Master Infiltrator is here. When I don't need full damage, when I do need absolutely full damage, I have enough perk points, so I can... I don't need to do it now, but I can keep swapping wherever I need and equipping, taking one for the team for extra damage. That's what I would run if I want to do extra damage. It's rarely really needed unless you want to speed run a boss like Scorchby Queen or Air Williams as this weapon. And this build, already so powerful. The bosses are dying. I don't think I really need to increase the speed, so most of the time I'm running Master Infiltrator. Just for my convenience, since the damage is no longer needed. But here are the perks. All the heavy gunner perks. I skip a reload speed and I have blocker. As I noticed, it's not necessary. This, if, if you put a good mods, on your cremator, it's reloading real fast, so I don't really need to increase it. It I have grenadier, but not at all times. Sometimes I will swap it for concentrated fire, as explosions are quite big, and running with smaller explosions without grenadier keeps like the same damage. The damage will not go down. A little bit less area of effect, but less self-inflicted damage and less splash in your face after the colorful effects uh, will get a little bit old so concentrated fire is absolutely an option endurance life giver colonnade fireproof revenant so full damage revenant occasionally being used it's not necessary you could run nine endurance and without revenant colonnade strongly recommended As with colonnade i can use cola dark Combined with Party Boy and Happy Go Lucky to boost my luck enough to get criticals every second shot in power armor. And yes, Cremator is very usable in VATS and outside of VATS. Oh, it's awesome weapon, absolutely brilliant. Strength in numbers, tenderizer, friendly fire, as you can heal with it. It's a fire weapon, so you can heal with it. Friendly fire rank one, enough to help your friends and friendly NPCs. Under intelligence, it is a heavy gun, so stabilized. Demo expert will not show on weapon card when you equip it, but it is increasing damage greatly, so you need it. Nerd rage for damage, batteries included as fuel count as energy ammo, and this weapon is using fuel. Then through hiker for my foot, adrenaline from damage and born survival if I'm not using a vampire. Cremator. If I'm using Vampire, I don't really need it, but it's here when I use anti-armor, instigating, or something else. Under luck, critical savvy to get those criticals every other shot with Nuka Dark. Good with salt to keep my food. Better criticals for more critical damage, star genes, and it's here either bloody mess, or if I need to reduce side effects of some mutations, then it will be class freak. But I'm currently running Serum, so I can have Bloody Mess. But Class Freak is a decent option to use to use the side effects. Now, what mutations do I have? As I said, currently fresh. 
as I was working on the build and I was changing them a couple times, so it is what I stayed with. Adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, herbivore, herd mentality, marsupial and speed demon. Herbivore, of course, so I can have maximum crit damage boost from food. But I have a bunch of herbivore serums. If I want to use carry weight meat-based products, I can. I just pop herbivore serum and then I can use those Myluk food buffs from my Myluk steamer. Bear bows really necessary to avoid power landing in power armor, so not avoidable. Adrenal reaction for all those damage. You were seeing me rolling for cremator, so yeah, I'm rocking mostly the vampire with the modifications that I recommend myself to use. So those are the modifications that I recommend and I'm using myself. And currently the damage is a little bit lower as I need to reapply radiation. I forgot about it. Look how much difference it does. So uh, which one I wanted? This one? Or this one this one so this vampire is now 1200.35 regular damage after application of rats quick gamma radiation the damage goes up to 52 by 4 and almost 1800 dot straight up so it's very important, like, this weapon is so good that you can play full health, but look how much extra damage you are getting when you drop half. A lot. So mods on all my cremators are the same. Multi-shot barrel, fast propellant tank, and slow burning tank. That's what I'm using for modifications. I think those are optimal, and I strongly recommend them. You will see in a second I will use it with this build. With extra crit damage. It's a beast. And that's vampire. I really like vampire on it. With multi projectiles plus explosions. Every shot heals you not for 2%. But for 8 times as much. 16% over 2 seconds of your health. Because 2 hits if you hit the target. And 2 explosions. I mean 4 hits. Somehow I think about 2 shot. It's not 2 shot. It's 4 shot. 4 hits plus 4, four explosions, so it's total of Vampire registering 8 times. It's really cool using with Vampire. Armor, I have Union Power Armor with the latest paint from the season, with jetpack, helmet, everything. And now a quick showcase how good this build is. Just let me check if I have any foot with crit damage. Currently no, so I need to apply some buffs. Okay, I applied some basic buffs. I'm ready with super low health here, I see, but I ran out of Brahmin milk. So that's okay, let's see, no bats now. Look at this damage. And look at the dot with this vampire. They cannot really do anything to me. I can absolutely do everything to them. And vampire, thanks to vampire, I don't need to really worry that I'm hitting myself as I'm getting so much healing. So much healing from this weapon, a little bit in first person view. It's very blinding, those explosions, that's true. That's why I'm not always running Grenadier. It's not always worth it. Now, where is the big mama? Oh, Nuka Dark for the big mama, if she's here. I hope she is. Nuka Dark to boost. My luck, 37 now, so it's still working after update. And look at that now. Look at that! You evaporate every enemy you aim at. And reload. This weapon has insanely fast reload. For a heavy gun. I don't even think you need to run quad. But you can. There is an option to roll a quad. At least for now, as I did last time. I didn't want it. But I did roll it. So, this is... This is the weapon, and in case of weak enemies, I don't even need to hit them very much. If I hit nearby, they are dead. 
It's insane power. With adrenaline stack, it's almost 2000 dot. I think adrenaline is stack. No, it's only 20%. So it already expires. So it would be over 2000 dot with adrenaline stack. This is a crazy weapon. This is a fun weapon. And this build absolutely destroys everything. And that was Vampire Variant. Annihilate stuff you don't even need. A weapon for damage. I do have anti-armor and instigating. Still a hope for bloodied, but even vampire destroys absolutely everything. Let me know what you think about this build. And do you think that I need any other weapon now that I have this one? I, I'm still thinking about it. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.